Well, day two. First day there, been on the rack. No noticeable change really. Still quite moist. We have had another little picking session today. Not so many in the box today though. Not many at all. And the bucket, let's turn the light on that little. We've got maybe a gallon in there. Uh, there is another, let's say another, there was another hot vine growing in a tree. So I filled a 10 litre bucket up with those ones. I think they're all the same. These do seem to be a little bit smaller though. So whether they're the same variety, they all seem to smell the same. I did make a hot tea out of these ones. And uh, although they're not as fragrant as they were last week, the taste seems to have gone in. Uh, the, the hop tea I made last week, the hop tea I made this week, this week was slightly more bitter. But as to the aroma flavour of what they are, still none the wiser on. I've never seen Fuggles in cone form yet or any of the others to be able to tell. If you look, they are slightly, seem to almost be square where they form. But whether that's an indication I don't know. I found tons of information on the British Hop Association's website but nothing about identification of variety, what to look for. I think you'd need a, a real expert. Anyway let's weigh out the few grams we've got here. That's one lot in. Another big one. So I couldn't be bothered to make another <laughs> so I, said, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to make another tray up <clears throat> so I thought what else have I got I'm Norfolk Hillbilly I must have something of course I have what else is pre-made and fully ventilated and stackable yeah I think that worked just don't tell the supermarket where they all went Mine's bigger than yours. Well, supermarket sweep. Well, I'll have to now because I've got all those trays. They make a very handy dandy tips in five minutes or under how to dry your hops. Acquire supermarket produce trays. They work fantastic. Cheers, guys.